It's your girl Hetty. Amen. bene, ecco poi farà ovviamente l'ecografia morfologica che va a vedere tutti gli organi, qui noi oggi abbiamo guardato solo okay. so just after being confirmed pregnant by my gynecologist I started losing myself I felt sick always at the emergency ward I couldn't eat For my first three months, I lost 10 kilos weight. I just lost interest in everything. But after three months, I told myself, I need to get up. I need to make this work. I need to take care of myself. Go out, freshen up, embrace the world, and embrace all the challenges life is giving me right now. Little did I know getting pregnant would, would make me stay in bed for always. I had no zeal to do anything. I left my business. Everything, what I eat, what I wear, was something I little, I don't think about anymore. I cried being on my bed, not being able to do what I used to do. But listen... God told me, hey, woman, you are built for this. Your body is built for this. You are much stronger than you can. And yes, I fully recovered from my third to fourth month. And hey, I started having my cravings back. Started, you know, being joyful and making my soul be happy. Started looking good, started dressing up good. Started showing up, looking good and sassy, being active, and started working on my clients' wigs. Started being grateful in the morning when I wake up. Unlike first, anytime I wake up, I just feel bad. And at a time came, I, I, I felt, I'm like, can I do this in the first place? I got my cravings. And I never let go of eating those spicy food that I missed eating. So this was me five, six months where I have no heartburns. I have no morning sicknesses. All I had was being joyful and hopeful to meet my baby Mesa. My husband and I, we've always been happy. I became as energetic as I could think of. We could travel two hours, three hours to work on clients. Yes, I'm a makeup artist, a hairstylist, and then I'm a wig maker as well. Three to four months prior to my delivery, you know, myself and husband, we started preparing for my hospital bag, yes. Trying to pack everything 
Whilst Mr. Mensa was to prepare the baby's stroller, he decided to show off some dance skills. Yes, giving him his first son, his first baby, he is so much joyful and can't wait to see him. Neither can I wait to see him as well. This journey has been so tough, a journey I never thought I could even finish. But the moment I feel some kicks in my tummy, and I'm like, oh, it's all worth it. You are in there. I just can't wait to see you. Seven to nine months, I started having stretch marks. I'm like, whoa, I thought I escaped, but hey. <laughs> I did it. It got to a time I needed some extra care. I'm someone who does everything on my own. Cater for my hair on my own. My upkeep. My hair. My, no, my, my nails and all of that. Yes, because I'm a beautician. But this time I needed to be pampered. And that is where my mother, yes, my mom came in the house. During this time, I had a week to my time and I told her, Mom, I need to get my hair cornrowed down. She came home, took two weeks off just for me to be closer to me in case my time comes and husband is at work. And I really appreciate you, Mom. I want to say thank you. You've always been there. You've sacrificed so much and it will do anything for you. So my EDD, that is my expected delivery date, is 30th September, 2021. I was at home, proud to that I get funny cakes or funny contractions, but reading on it, I got to know that they are just fake, like labor alerts, right? But on my day that I was estimated to have delivered, nothing happened. And we decided to go to the hospital to check what is wrong. I went there, so funny enough, my tummy was aching. My tummy keeps tightening up. I had this funny pains. I'm like, what is wrong? Is it my time? So I was being monitored. My tummy at the eighth, ninth month became so heavy, longer, and baby was weighing me down. You can see my tummy is too long. I couldn't stand for long hours. And I felt so much going down there, but still it wasn't my time. I got monitored for like five to six hours and still I was not dilated like it wasn't my time so I was sent back home but I still felt some discomfort coming back home 30th nothing happened 1st October 2nd October 3rd October nothing happened so I kept doing whole lot of stuff to induce baby myself so you can see my tummy grew really tall and long and baby was weighing me down. I wasn't told how much my baby was weighing, but until birth, that I got to know that, okay, that was the reason why. Let me tell you, little did I know, I also had five rods while I was pregnant. Yes. All the screening and scanning couldn't reveal the fibers so it was the fiber that was making my tummy look longer and taller so i did all these things and on the next day i felt some funny contractions why dawn of 4th of october it was sunday getting to monday exactly at 12 dawn i saw my mucus plug you know fall off when I went to the shower, I told my husband, this is a sign. And he's like, okay. He's like, should we go? I like, no, let's take time because it's not just now. 
few minutes away i go to the washroom and i saw that my water had broke and i'm leaking so i told him okay we have to go to the hospital on our way to the hospital the contractions that i had back to back contractions painful that i could cry scream i was being monitored again for them to know how often and my time the interval between how i'm dilating so at this moment it was a real big deal it was time i was getting there going there at dawn around 1 a.m on monday 4th october and being monitored being in labor contractions up here and there so afternoon it was a lot i think they later forgot about me and just left me be there be in pain thinking that my time is still not near another nurse passed by and got to know that hey for how i'm screaming they need to re-monitor me so they picked me up in a wheelchair came here to screen they inserted their hands and got to know that i am eight centimeters dilated that means any moment from now i could deliver husband wasn't there i was sent to the delivery room i was so scared to have my baby without my husband they called husband husband was on his way but i was so scared at this point i got to know that i just have to do what i can but i never wanted to have my baby without my husband from here the contractions were so so crazy women we are so powerful than we can think of but one thing is our body is also built for this pain for this stress from here i couldn't see anything because everything was getting serious i have still not seen my husband so my husband finally came to the delivery room to help and smoothen the process but hey unfortunately the hospital didn't allow me to vlog my delivery yes but hey this is our baby yes baby mesa is here in our arms he was exactly four kilograms baby was weighing a lot so 449 baby arrived and hey my little baby little mesa my first fruit of my womb oh my god thank you god bless you and god keep you I mean, he was so cute, calm. He never cried for anything. This is me the next day. I freshened up. Looking cute for my baby. Looking refreshed. Baby never gave me headache at the hospital. And that was the beginning of a new life. Listen to my conversation with him. Buongiorno. Come stai? so right from the hospital i was trying to give him the pacifier because he kept opening his lips or his mouth i had fed him so i was wondering what it was oh look at my baby oh my baby you're looking so cute oh my god oh i bless the womb that he came from so husby was with me throughout hey. the delivery he helped in the delivery and Genius, all that later he had to go out to buy some clothes because baby was tall and the stuffs i brought couldn't fit him so this was actually the time he had to hold him so close tight and he was speechless he couldn't comfort himself Two days after we came home, and this was just how my husband was staring at baby, just being humbled, just sitting on the floor, 
watching his little baby. <laughs> he keeps doing this and he still does. He still does it. I want to thank you, baby Mesa, for choosing me as a mom. It's been a hell of a journey, but welcome. Welcome, baby Mesa. <laughs> So a month later, we had to go to do his circumcision. Yes, the hospital doesn't do circumcision because it's not compulsory. And hey, this is the new parent house. An addition to the Mesa family. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. And hey, there are other videos on the left and on the right. If you happen to be a first timer, Kindly click in the middle so you subscribe to see more of our stuffs. Thank you for watching.